Good morning, VotingBanner.com fans. Captain Larry here. We're off to chapter 16. Or is it 17? I think it's 17 now. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, today uh, we're really going to have a kind of a broken up situation here. This uh, Sun Deck backrest combination is a big time project. And, uh, so I apologize for the stopping and starting, but I don't know how else to do it. And so it's going to take quite a bit. I'll try to cut out as much as I can, but I do want to show you virtually every step uh, so you don't get lost if you want to try this yourself. So let's go. Tally ho here. What I did do already, the only thing I really basically did is I put, this is the old foam, and I reattached that just as I attached the other ones. Spread a little adhesive on it, let it sit, so I wanted to get that one going. Oh, I wanted to show you, kind of before we get going here, is the, the job my friend did on these, on the uh, wood. Very, very nice. When this, when I took this apart, literally it fell apart uh, because all they had done was put this piece of 2 by 2 here and, and put staples in it. No glue or anything. So it was very, very poorly done. Uh, well, my friend, he's uh, this is at an angle, so we, it has to be put in at an angle, of course. But he also, he nailed and screwed and glued this thing. So I'm relatively positive this thing will this thing will be fine for the foreseeable future. Okay, uh, let's give you a little background. Uh, I finished sewing, just basically closing in the, uh, the vinyl, and it was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Those the two corners here were brutal, and uh, I don't want to give anybody the impression this is easy. Uh, this was very hard. I always have the same kind of problem. Um, the basically the other parts aren't too bad. It's not any really much different than doing a regular seat or a backrest like we had already done. But these angles and then the, the trying to close off these corners neatly and without any of the wrinkles and all that stuff is really I don't know maybe it's just me but it is tough. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute here. So what I have done is I <coughs> got my batting, my favorite little stuff here. And I am going to put this on top of here to cover. So hopefully it gives us a nice, gives us a nice flow. Because we do have this is a little bit rough here. Of course, the edges will be rough. And again, all we need to do is tack that. I didn't have enough batting left, so I had to do this in two pieces. I don't think it will cause a problem with that seam. What I do is I like to leave about an inch, there we go, about an inch on each side, so we can do a little wrap around and uh, help cover that uh, wood when the vinyl hits it. This way here, and again, I just really tack these, so I'm just going to kind of leave them on, spray the. Up here a little bit. That will keep it hopefully in place while we're working.
Okay. That's our first step. Now we'll get the well. Again, I've marked the lyle and have the wood with a mark where the center is. So we again we don't get ourselves sideways. This is the, uh, the section I told you I had so much trouble was both of these sides. Uh, I, got it, I think I got it all right, uh, but it was a bear. It seemed like these angles were weird and it didn't so well. And it was hard connecting my piping. I don't know the number of times I've done these, I would hope these get better, but as I said, these are the hardest for me. I don't know why. So I just have a full-time struggle. And because of the angle and that brace in there, just the wrapping of it and tightening this vinyl is going to be a struggle. Okay, so I'll tell you what, now that we got this set, now we need to tack. So I'm going to have to fight with this a little bit and get it so where we can tack it and I'll bring you right back. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Uh, I tacked it on uh, while we were away, uh, just because it's so unruly and unwieldy that uh, all you'd be seeing is butts and elbows on the whole thing. So uh, it's no different than tacking on the other one, yet this is twice as hard because of the size. Also, you have all these different angles and uh, it just makes it for a little bit of a struggle here. Let me show you what happened. <coughs> this is again the backrest section. I just did a slight tack on this and it looks like it's gonna be no problem. Uh, obviously that is the easiest because there's no seams here. There's no stitching of any kind. So that, was, should, that should have been easy and it in fact was. And let me show you where the struggle is going to be. <coughs> Okay, here we go. This is the hard side. This is the deck portion. And already we can see some issues. Uh, the front here seems like it's going to be okay. I thought maybe the center, excuse me. So this, because we actually had glued, glued that down and it has a scrim behind it, we have a pretty good, a pretty nice flat centered situation which I don't think is going to be a problem. The only thing we have to worry about here's our seam on the piping. I think the only thing we've got to worry about is trying to keep this line pretty nice. Now where we are going to have lots of struggles is off of here. You see we've got a kind of a funky stitch there, stitch there, this is filling in pretty good and I'm not 100% sure how we're going to get rid of the wrinkle here. Uh, looks like definitely a steam job is in, in the order for that one. This one is not, this one's pretty good. I'm not crazy about that. It's a kind of bumpy seam. But I think this side is going to be okay. Additionally, you can see it here. 
we have some lousy crap going on here in the middle. I have not attached the sides yet, but I'm 90% sure that is not coming out, uh, like just stretching. So we're going to have to get the steam thing out for this and this and see if we can at least minimize it. But uh, that's the kind of way we are. Let's see, uh, let me show you the tacks. Nothing very special about them. Yeah, I just pulled it over and did the tacking here. A little tight. Is that corner? No, this corner here was really tight. And I haven't tacked these. I haven't attacked this yet. Those are always kind of hard because you're pulling them and trying to get taut. Rather than trying to do that with my tacks, I'm going to wait till I got the real staples with me and, and just play with it. I don't know what else to do. Uh, the front staples, they came pretty easy. We had a, actually some extra, made that a little longer than normal. So that tacked well. And again, I haven't touched this and this corner here. But these corners, I think, are going to be okay up here. But uh, we'll see. So anyway, I guess what I'm going to do is get set up. Uh, because really, when you use steam, the only way it really gets super effective or give you your best chance of getting rid of those wrinkles is you steam it and then pull it. And then you staple. Uh, the steam gets it a little supple. And then we'll pull it and see if we can't chase that wrinkle out of there and if we can't get it out of there let's hope we can minimize it to a point uh, where it's not real noticeable so that's kind of our goal here at the moment well, anyway that's where we are i say we're doing okay uh, but these these deck backrest combinations are rough they are rough they wear me out you got to be patient and just take your time and hopefully if you have a little steam or two and uh Maybe that will help us. So anyway, let me get set up and I'll bring you back. Hey, welcome back, Oping Banter fans. Uh, because this is kind of a long process, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this and show it effectively, so I figured let's concentrate on one set of wrinkles here. And then I'll, I'll finish it off camera because it will be the exact same process. It's a matter of steaming and chasing and pulling and, and that's kind of what you got to do. Uh, so what I've done is I've re just simply removed three of the tacking staples there to give me some movement. I think I'll need to take one more out here. Then we'll, then we'll start steaming this and see what we can do about getting, getting it done and then we will tack it with the real bit of staple on there. One more out of here. Okay, that should give us enough flexibility. Let's see what we do now. I like to get it right up on the seam, right on the nipple. What we're trying to do is get these hot or pretty warm. Here, so we can fix 
fix this. But you see this one's just about gone. That's good. and pull. Good, good. We got a little loop in our line, but we'll pull the rest down to that now. Yeah. Magic of seam, unfortunately, this here was my, again, another sewing mistake of mine. Now the wrinkle is gone. We'll have to pull it all down here because I pulled that tight now, so we're going to have to get these tight too. But anyway, it shows you what you do to get rid of your uh, wrinkles. I will work on that wrinkle, and then I'll show you when we come back a little bit of staking, but that's the same as the other, so talk to you a little bit. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, let's try to pull you in a little closer here. We're done stapling. Everything came out really, really nice compared to what I thought. So have this little action up here. I'll try to get rid of it. Help, see if you can help the seam set down a little nicer too. Put it right on the seam. I don't know if you can see that with my arm in the way, but. not noticeable now. Okay. Uh, let me move you back here a little bit. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to show you a few steam things here. Looking really good. We've got the wrinkle out of there. Use this on steam. Try to soften them up a little bit. Here we got a little wrinkle. Here. Almost gone now. Pretty good straight line. Welcome back, everybody. We are somewhat finished here. Uh, there was nothing remarkable, really. I put the uh, backrest on, just mounted that. Uh, came out pretty nice, pretty straight. A few little wiggles in the, the piping line there, but otherwise it looks pretty good, right? This looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'll turn this thing around and show you what the sun deck came out like. There we go. Came out pretty good. Nice and straight. I like that part. 
uh, got a little bulky on these seams. Really, really no wrinkles though. I think we did a pretty good job with the steamer on those wrinkles. So uh, the only thing I'm really disappointed in is the uh, are these. Oops. Are these seams here. Let me see if I can show you. Seamed here. See, we got wrinkles here, and we got a, just a kind of a mass of stuff. A little wrinkle there, and uh, that's unfortunately not atypical for one of my jobs. And this one with that two by two down here it made it really hard to, no matter which way I pulled it, it seemed to be the wrong way. So I know that's as good as I can do. That is it. Okay. So we are dead in the water now. Uh, I cannot put the backing on or the item until we put the headrests. This is where the head, four headrests go. So I can't do the, put that stuff until I have them finished and screwed on. So we'll just conclude uh, our sun deck backrest combination for the time being. Uh, I think next what we'll have to do obviously is put the four headrests together. So that will be chapter 18. We'll do that. And uh, then we'll simply just attach them and put the backing and hide them on and we'll be finally be finished with this project. So anyway, I hope you found some, something of interest and you like the way it turned out. It's okay. And again, for my skill level, it's about as good as I can get done. So anyway, I appreciate it. You have a great day. I look forward to you coming back next time.